this is a downward bud switch and of course an update on my train station or my subway station um, if you've been watching me for a while you would know that a few years ago I put a subway station video of course it was pretty crappy but nonetheless it was a sub -sta subway station video and my attempt in that video was to make a straight minecart detector and dispensing basically it doesn't have any dips or any turns in the rail but I failed to do that but this time I have succeeded so if you can see here you have this minecart going across and of course this slows it down um, so you can actually get into the minecart while it's at the station and you can see that if it's empty it'll go into the wall however if I'm sitting in it and there's actually a person in it so let me show you that here and of course you can press a forward button to go faster here that's quite loud but you can see um, I can go through and let me turn down the sound because that was really loud uh, where is it? here it is there you go alright so as you can see it's a minecart detector it's empty and of course it works the other way so after this one goes go faster it also works this way so if you can see I can get on this way and let's move with the forward button you just press W and it'll speed you up on that station and you can see I can get through now how it's done is actually quite interesting over here I have a tripwire now of course tripwires do not activate redstone signals without tripwire hooks and if I were to use tripwire hooks I need hooks on both sides and my aim here was so I don't have redstone on this side so I can actually do something like this like a subway where you have dual rails and I don't want something in the middle or some weird hooks everywhere so I wanted to keep this minecart sorter to one side and that's what I did right here so what this tripwire does is even though it's not connected to a tripwire hook they still cause redstone updates so I right here made a downward bud switch to detect when that redstone update happens and accordingly of course this trail I mean this rail will change and you can see that here and of course if it's empty it won't touch this tripwire so it will not change and it'll go down here where it will be collected now of course uh, you can see over here this is the one I was using for the example you can see it collected my minecarts here alright let's go on to how to build this minecart sorter so I'm gonna show you the two alternate designs one for each direction depending on the direction you'll find out later so let's say I want the minecart empty minecart to go that way and the occupied minecart to go straight ahead then what I'll have to do is I will have to go one two and place a string here. I destroyed it because I forgot to get rid of it last time. So now that you have a string here, you want a normal piston face, facing down, a block, a glass block right here, and a normal piston facing up right or the, under the glass block. Now what we need to do is place slabs right here. So you have the torch and the repeater. It doesn't matter what delay this is at. Now you can see the curve is right here and the piston is right here. So you want to build on this side, not on this side. So if I build on this side, we put a block, redstone, another block, repeater, and a block here. So now you have something like this where the turn is still right here now yet let's build the underside so you have this and this is where the slab comes in so this redstone signal can actually go under here and then you have a repeater set at two ticks two ticks all the others are at one now you put a redstone on top of this put a block right here 
put a torch right here, right on the other side of the block. So you have this, right? And you put a block right on top of that. Oh, sorry, there you go. And there you have it, your butt switch. All right, now what we need to do is connect this butt switch to activate this. So before we do anything with this, we should figure out how to make this part. This is the part that varies between the two designs. So if it's powered, it's like this. And if it's unpowered, it's like this. And you want it so that if the cart is occupied, the rail is like that. So you want it to be unpowered when there's a person in the minecart and powered if there is nothing in the minecart. And to do that, we're going to have to make sure that if there's a torch here, this torch is off when a player activates this butt switch. And the way we do that is we come here and we place a repeater right here. And we place over here a block right here. A slab right here. I'll show you why in a minute. A block right here, or actually a block right here. There you go. And a slab right here. So you have something like this. And you connect it with redstone. Now, if a minecart comes down this side, then you're going to have to build this part, which is this, and a hopper. Now, this hopper can go anywhere. So for now, I'm just going to make like a little tower going down, I guess. Oh. There you go. And you put the rail over. You put a block here. A redstone torch here. So you have something like this. This is what it looks like so far. And you get sand. Sand. On this. There you go. And you need to get a cactus. Sand on top of that redstone. Cactus. And then a block on top of that cactus. So there you have it. That is a working detector. And I will show you how it works. You can see it goes in here. And the minecart will be collected down here. And if there's a person in the minecart, you go straight on through. Now let's build the alternate design. Say we want to go this way instead. Then you still do the same thing. You have the string here. You go one, two, string. So the string is here. And you need the piston. I got rid of it by accident. There you go. Piston facing down. And then a block. Glass. Right here. And piston facing up. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Piston facing up, like this. <coughs> and then slab, slab, redstone torch, repeater. The turn's here, the piston's here, so we want to build on this side. Redstone, repeater, and then a block here, a block down here. Do this thing again. Make sure it's two ticks. This part is all the same as the last one. Redstone here. Block here. Torch here. This. And you have your working butt switch. Now here's where it gets different. So over here, we need it to come over. And we want over here. Let's test it with the lever again. Um, we'll need a rail to test it as I learned from last time. So, let's get a lever. Here we are. And you can see, if it's powered, you'll go straight on through. And if it's unpowered, you'll go in. So this time, you want the torch under to be powered instead of unpowered when the player activates it. So the way you do that is you get this slab slab, torch here, redstone, redstone, and that's it. And of course you add this block, 
this torch. Now over here, this is where you do the hopper thing again. So let's get a hopper out. And we're down under, so right here. So there you go, you got our hoppers. Place the rail, it'll power because of this torch. And you'll get this sand and this cactus. And don't worry if the sand is blocking this redstone because the torch will invert anyway. So it's fine. And there you have it. That's the alternate version. And of course, it works just the same. It just has a little different end part right there. So works just the same if the minecart goes in. And if there's a player, you go straight on through. So that's it. Uh, thanks for walking, watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do whatever you do after videos. And See you guys.